What did Gola? Hey, so I'm going to be doing a uh, sh really, really short series. Um, I don't know exactly <coughs> um, how many videos um, is going to be in this series, but I want to do a series of of underrated slash overlooked films um, that I think are really good and I think should have a lot more attention, but don't. Um, this series isn't going to be exactly like back to back to back. I may upload a couple videos this week and then a couple more videos in uh, like two weeks or next month. Uh, my schedule, my filming schedule is kind of unpredictable due to um, me being in school right now and I have to focus on schoolwork and all that. Um, but I decided to do this series because I, I have seen quite a few films um, in my life and I know that um, not everybody can see the exact same films or all the films that I've seen. Um, I don't really think that's possible unless you have a lot of time. Um, but, um, but, uh, what you might call it, um, but there are a few films I think that people should see, um, more of, and, um, The Normal Hearts is one of them. The Normal Hearts is a, um, directed TV film, uh, made for HBO. It is directed by Ryan Murphy, who has created shows like Glee, um, which I really don't like. American Horror Story, which I liked at first, but then it got a little too violent for my taste. Um, Nip Tuck, which I haven't seen. Uh, Scream Queens, which I haven't seen. American Crime Story, well, he, which he produced, but had, didn't, he didn't write any of the episodes I really like. He also did that miniseries Feud, Betty and Joan, which I really like. Um, he's basically done a whole bunch of stuff for um, Fox and FX. Um, and he directed this film for HBO, which is... Um, Somewhat based on true uh, true events um, about and this film basically um, it centers around um, the AIDS epidemic rising in the uh, early 70s and how it uh, physically and emotionally affected um, like hundreds and hundreds of and thousands even of people in the gay homosexual uh, community and how basically um, there's this big unfortunately there's this big like prejudice against gay people back then and the all these gay people were you know uh, physically and emotionally suffering and dying and no one was helping them and so basically this film mostly centers around this character named Ned Weeks um, played by Mark Ruffalo and how and he's basically uh, um, a reporter um, I don't remember exactly what newspaper he writes for um, this character of Ned is uh, loosely based on the writer of um, the script for this movie, which in turn is based on a play that the same writer Larry Kramer is. And um, Larry Kramer, in an interview, he has said that um, Ned is somewhat based on himself. Um, so yeah, so Ned, um, played by Mark Ruffalo, who is also the Hulk in the MCU movies, um, he basically has to go, um, you know, like convince people um, um, to... Um, to basically, you know, pay attention to us, you know, like, we are suffering, we are dying here, and you're doing nothing. You just look on as we, you know, start coughing blood and start growing black spots on our bodies, and we're dying here, help us. And um, many people, and he does use very unconventional and scare tactic kind of ways to, you know, sort of wake people up to the truth that, you know, uh, gay people are humans too, and we need help. And a lot, and he does get a lot of uh, criticism for this, not just from, you know, um, homophobic um, government officials or people or others or anything like that, but also even from people um, among his own, you know, community, um, fellow gay people. They're like, I think you're going by this a little too strongly, but he feels very strongly about this. So he's, so Ned talks very openly and passionately about this, and he isn't afraid to, you know, uh, stir controversy. Um, so yeah, so this film, it's really, really good, but also really sad. Like, I don't think I have seen this emotional of a film in a while. Um, this film, it gets really hard to watch at times. Like, there were times where, like, I had to, I had to, you know, like, look away for a bit because it was not just, it wasn't just getting really graphic, but it was just getting really sad. Um, like, like, it, it was just, like, this was a really, 
really sad movie, but definitely an important one to watch for sure. Um, everything about this movie technically is great. The directing, editing, uh, sound design, uh, cinematography, writing. Everything is great. Um, the acting by almost everyone is really good. Mark Ruffalo is really good. Julia Roberts plays this uh, paralyzed doctor, and she is incredible. Uh, Matt Bomer, who plays um, Felix, um, Ned's uh, male lover, he's really good as well. Alfred Molina, who you may know as Dr. Octopus from Spider-Man 2, the one with Tobey Maguire. Um, I mean, you guys know that. <laughs> but Alfred Molina plays Ned's older brother, and he's really good. Um, Sheldon Cooper, the actor who plays Sheldon Cooper, Jim Parsons, he does a really good job as well in this movie. Um, his role is somewhat minor, but he is really good as well, um, which surprised me a lot because he was—he didn't really impress me that much in Big Bang Theory. Um, nothing against Jim. I just, you know, this is just my a preference of mine, just opinion of mine. Um, so yeah, so this movie, um, I think so. Yeah, so like there is a there isn't really anything like wrong with this movie um the my i guess my only flaw of this movie is that there are a few close-ups like sometimes the camera will get too close to a person's face and i'll just be like well just okay just back up a little you're you're too close you're too close um but besides that this movie is pretty much perfect like i can't really think of any other flaws of this movie um some people may be upset by the ending um which I won't spoil, but it does end a bit, not anticlimactic, anticlimactically, but just does kind of end. Some people may be upset by that. I wasn't personally, but you know, you may be, so just letting you know about that. I'm going to give The Normal Heart a perfect 10 out of 10. All right, so thank you for watching. Um, just like I said in my last video, I do have a lot of stuff planned. And um, I'm looking forward to um, delivering that to you guys soon. And uh, But yeah, for now, thanks for watching. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.